You got me so I don't know what I'm doing yeah. You really got me You got me so I can't sleep at night Okay, the tune we're checking out today is You Really Got Me by The Kinks. Although that was a slightly heavier version than theirs, uh, it's up to you how much distortion you want. If you put more, it ends up sounding a bit more Van Halen, who do it in a different key and they've got a lot more twiddly bits. And we're just doing this kind of straight ahead version because the main thing I want you to get to grips with in this tune is the shifting of your bar chords quite quickly, or rather power chords, I should say. So the big deal with this, it's mostly two power chords moving a tone apart, like two frets. Um, the intro and the what I kind of riff one or whatever, the first riff in the uh, uh, verse is going F G G F G. So F is down with the root note on the thicker string in the first fret, and G is the thicker string at the third fret for the root note. So it's kind of going. Just just F G G F G. If you're not sure about your root notes for your power chords, then you best go, go and check out the power chords lesson on the website. Um, now, what the trick here is, a lot of people have problems with them when they're shifting their power chords. So they kind of they leave the pressure down too hard on the chord, and it kind of folds the fingers up. So we're just going to go to a little close up now, and I'm going to show you the right and the wrong way to do it. Okay, so here's our F power chord here, making sure, of course, that the thinnest three strings are muted there with the underneath of that first finger. You've got a nice solid sounding chord. Now, what you want to do when you're changing from F to the G, which is up there, you can see that my shape is staying pretty much the same all of the time. It's not kind of collapsing. Now, if you keep the pressure down while you try and shift, you do this and your fingers are suddenly get crammed up and then you have to lift them off and re-put them down again, which is way too slow for this. What you need to be doing is you press the chord to play it, then you relax your fingers. Now they're staying on the strings, they just relax. So they're still touching the strings, but there's no pressure. And that way I can move the chord however I like and it doesn't matter, I'm just holding my fingers in place. Now it also helps with these two fingers if you kind of lock them together a bit so you can see that the little finger and the third finger are kind of pressing on top of each other and that helps keep those two kind of stable and next to each other as you relax, shift, press, play, relax, shift, press, play. Now of course this is happening quick. But you really got to work on trying to be able to get from that one chord, relax, shift, press, play. Relax, shift, press, play. Relax, shift, press, play. Now that happens pretty quick. You just, for a bit of practice, wouldn't be a bad thing to do. But it's really important that you get that used to that idea of holding the shape there and not just letting your fingers collapse and not trying to go F and then have to refinger each time for the next power chord because that'll just take far, far too long. Any metal guys that want to play like Metallica or whatever, you have to get that technique down real careful. It's very, very important. So, and also just trying to make sure that you keep those chords nice and clean, that you're not letting the open strings ring out. So that first finger is staying down all the time. Now let me just try and give you a close up so you can see the pressure thing working. There's the chord pressing down. And when I go to move the chord, you can see I just relax. There's still touch, it's only a tiny little movement, but just relax, shift, press. Relax, shift, press. Relax, shift, press. That's the, mo the motion that you want to try and get a hold of there. Just trying to let your thumb move with the chord as well is a good idea. Yeah, that's the thing that you want to practice. So now we've covered the difficult part, which is you actually being able to uh, shift between the chords. Let me just run through with you, of course, what they are for this tune. So as I mentioned before, the main kind of uh, two chords for most of the riff here is F, G, G, F, G. Does that four times at the beginning. 
depending on what version you're doing. And then you've got the verse. Girl, you really got me now. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing. And again. Yeah, you really got me now. You got me so I can't sleep at night. Now the whole thing just moves up two frets, so you're going G A A G A, which is around the third fret and then the fifth fret. Yeah, you really got me now. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, and now we've moved over a string, so down. So now we've got a fifth string root, and we're playing C D D C D. Oh yeah, you really got me now. You got me so I can't sleep at night. You really got me. You really got me. You really got me. And then it's C chord. That's pretty much all there is to this tune. It's pretty straightforward. The big deal is trying to get those power chords so they sound really, really tight, clear, and that you can move between your chords really quickly and smoothly. It's really good fun. If you're in doubt about power chords or they're not sounding right, go and check out the lessons on power chords on the website. It's all free, you know, you can go and check it out. There's a video lesson just on power chords. So um, go and have a look at that. This one, mainly to help you A, play the song, to get you shifting your power chords smoothly and easily. I uh, hope that made sense and that you're playing this tune and rocking out. Go and check out the Kinks version of this, it really kicks. Um, take care of yourselves and I'll see you for another lesson sometime real soon. Bye bye.